So for today, we're going to be looking at whatever versus offering. If you guys don't know, um, the seasons usually last up until 10 weeks. And then after that, that's pretty much it. So these are all of the challenges that you have available to you. So that way you guys can complete the total defiance. I would recommend this just because, uh, it's either 3000 or 6,000 bright dust. I don't remember off the top of my head, but it is quite a bit. And especially since you're going to be doing some of these, you're going to be getting bright dust along the way as well. So you might as well do this. Not only that, it helps you gain a lot of levels because the challenger XP plus and plus plus plus. So these, a lot of these are really worth it, especially if you're trying to get levels through the season pass. Um, I don't need it, but again, like I said, if you guys definitely need it, or if you, if you guys are starting late, these are going to be some of the best things you can do aside from bounties. So we're just going to be looking at Eververse from here on out. So for the first thing, it's Golden Age Wine. This is a pretty cool shader. Uh, I know I'm a, not a big fan of yellow, but with this purple, I actually don't mind it just because uh, it does it does have like a wine purple color. And yeah, it's fine. Uh, definitely not my favorite though. We have Rivalry White Sand, which is definitely super cool. This is a really cool uh, white shader. There is some black and gold in there, but usually it's only white that I've noticed, but uh, that might be on the bottom one or it depends on what armor you're wearing. We have Cherry Blossom Entrance, which uh, if you're a weeb, you like this one, I guess. Plus Shell, which is uh, just a plushie for a ghost. We have Raining Champion and for the bottom stuff, we have Victor's Palanquin, Palanquin, Palanquin? I don't know um vi for glory whatever we have champion shell which is literally a trophy for a ghost and then high score weightlifter and curling shuffle and then we have shaders so photo finish is the shader you're going to want to pick up if you want to have the rgb light for for your glows uh let's actually see if i have a better glow for this one um i don't think i do I'm usually not the biggest fan of glows, um, but we'll do this one for sure because I think the helmet will actually take the glow better. Um, <clears throat> in the very, no it's it's noticeable kind of. It is pretty cool. Um, I I'm not the biggest fan of it just because uh, it doesn't take shaders really well, specifically for everything but the glows. Like, I don't like this like gross green color not the biggest fan of it if it was just like a solid black then i feel like this would be super dope we have up for grabs which is the mcdonald's shader i think um which i mean do with that what you will reef made not my favorite uh color for this just because that i feel like this color is not the same as this or not this not the same but it doesn't like complement each other well personally i think it's just too dark to for this to be too too bright and i just don't like it, me personally verdant chrome which is from the rivalry so revelry my bad revelry and it's a pretty good gold and green if you're inter inter if you're interested in that and then from there uh i don't look at that i'm gonna do the ada video like right after this um that's pretty much it actually there's nothing much to, ha to happen right now um a part of me wants to just put the Ada video into this so that way I can just make it all in one fat video, but uh, I'm not going to do that. So yeah, it's not not much to do. Um, I've been taking a break off of Destiny 2. I've been playing uh, Warframe just because uh, I'm kind of tired of Goodbye. Destiny 2, if I'm being quite honest. Um, yeah, I legitimately am just really exhausted of destiny's loop right now so i just decided to start playing some warframe because uh i have been playing warframe for years this is the other game that i've been playing on enough for sure but i will most likely be doing fashion for this game as well uh after i do the video that i'm working on currently which is comparing all the trans mods in the games that i play so destiny 2 world uh warframe world of warcraft and final fantasy 14. so those are the games that i'm currently playing and I want to compare all the fashion, uh, specifically the transmog on all the systems that they have. Because uh, once you see Destiny 2's transmog compared to the other ones, you're going to be really disappointed on just how limited this transmog system is. So 
Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe and I will see you guys later.